Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Stellaris, where we're playing the Slothtopians. And we're colonizing Rochelle right now. It's about to finish. When this finishes, we're going to start using sectors. You have to use sectors when you reach your controlled planet limit. It's sort of like a domain limit in uh, CK2. So at this point, you got to create some vassals. They're not actually vassals. They're simply semi-autonomous regions of your empire. Okay, so we now have a pop-up that says, you have too many planets. Oh no. So what this does, for each planet over your directly controlled limit, you receive a 10% penalty to influence and energy credits, which is significant. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't influence your minerals as well, but it just doesn't. So at one over the limit, we have a 10% penalty, two over the limit, 20% penalty, etc. The way to avoid this penalty is to create a sector. Now this planet is amazing, so I'm gonna keep this in, in my direct control, but we can find a planet that is not amazing and we can put it into a sector. Now, if we look at all of our other planets, Delphine is pretty nice, 18 tiles. Radiance, or Toki's Garden, 16 tiles. New Light, Peace Heaven, 18 tiles. Um, sure. So all of these have lots of tiles, but this one only has eight tiles. So because it's so small, it's really not that important to my empire. And I can definitely put it into a sector. So let's create a sector for just this place. So we go to our empire, planets, and create new sector. And then we just click on it. That's it. Bontari's Citadel. We'll call it the... Um, Observatory. No, we'll call it we'll call it something like that. You can just rename a sector. Click on the title. We'll call it Peace Between uh, the Stars. All right. Kind of a neutral meeting ground between these two guys who hate each other. Now that has lowered our controlled planets to five and we can control the sector now we can say hey you're allowed to re redevelop if you wish um, actually no I think I like the way it was set up I'm going to give it some starting energy and some starting minerals um, actually if you're losing energy you should probably be able to redevelop and we're going to tax the hell out of him our current taxes are at 50 percent we're going to bump it up to 75 percent and uh, I guess I can allow him to do whatever focus he needs to do, but he definitely needs to not lose min He definitely needs to not lose energy. So he'll, he'll be allowed to move stuff around, but I don't want him to... Uh, I guess I don't care about tile resources. Screw it. Do whatever you want to do. Doesn't bother me. All right, so he's going to do his own thing now, and he be essentially becomes self-governing. So they will move tiles around on the planet, They'll destroy stuff, rebuild stuff, whatever. I, you just, it's, it's, it becomes a hands-off situation. So we let them do their own sloth thing, and we don't get involved. And that's fine. And that means we get to control whatever planets we wish. And that's it. Sectors are that simple. Now, we're going to have a more complicated sector situation when we start getting some of these desert worlds and such uh, colonized. But for the desert worlds, there's actually a nice species for desert worlds. Uh, where are we? Go to the contacts tab. It was these guys, log and choose. They're good for deserts. So we could, for instance, take these guys and get them onto that desert world as part of our empire. Uh, but we can't do it yet. However, these guys, oh baby. They only have 20% desert tolerance, but I think we can gene modify them to make them tolerant. Now I have not played with gene modifications and I have not played with uplifting. But these guys are Stone Age primitives on the planet Dia... No, they're not on Dia Fata. They're somewhere else. Where were these guys? These guys were on... Okul. These guys were on Okul 5A. 
And we can... Yeah. We can uplift these guys. Now, I've not clicked this button before, but let's see what happens when we click this button. Oh, we get to change their preferences when we click them. Let's make them desert preference. And... We can add two traits as well. What kind of traits should we add? They don't need to be smart. They don't need to do any research at all. Huh, what should we even bother with? Just happiness, maybe? Industrious? Where is industrious? There we go, industrious. So that means they get more minerals? Is that really what we want? I haven't done this before, so bear with me. It looks like we can add whatever trait we wish. Communal for happiness? Adaptive and strong? Adaptive costs two. We can only do two. So if we do adaptive, that's the only one we can do. Happy breeders? Where's happiness? Happiness and... Rapid breeders. Yeah, we could do that. If we do adaptive, that's the only one we could do. Oh, we can't do it? We have to select a planet. Oh, they're not in our borders. So we actually have to get a border with them before we can do this. Ah, okay. I kind of figured we'd have to do that. I was just surprised the uplift button was there. Okay, so since that's the case, since we have plans for that, perhaps we shouldn't colonize these ourselves. Perhaps we should leave that alone, and then we can uplift them and have them colonize the deserts for us. Okay, if that's the case, just give me one more colony ship. We'll colonize these two uh, jungles up here. We need to colonize their planet first. We can't colonize their planets. It's continental. We don't have that tech. But... There is an Arctic world we might be able to colonize, maybe. No, not yet. Soon enough, though. Soon enough, we'll get more colonial research. Debris analyzed. Let's build some more destroyers. Science ship Rimboth. Ah, there. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to avoid this because there's just, those enemies are just too strong. Outpost the Renaissance guys. Observe them. Where were the Renaissance guys? They were here, right? Uh, no, your Iron Age. These dudes. Ozcox. Where was the Renaissance guys? Is that Rimboth? No. There we go. Renaissance guys. Yeah, we can put an outpost there, but... Uh, let's see. Ocean colonization? Ooh. I don't know, man. That's 200 influence just to put down the outpost. I don't have 200 influence. Okay, colony world done. Let's get up here. All right, where to? Maybe here? Get those two bonuses? Not bad. 
Ah, just do here. It's fine. Take over the Renaissance guys by replacing their leaders. <laughs> that is so goofy. I love that that's an option because it's it's freaky. Construction complete. Keep constructing. Oh, we need to build a spaceport on the new planet, of course. Get that frontier clinic going. Oh man, look at that system. So good. Oh, I want it. I want all of this. It's just too good. Construction complete. System survey complete. Okay, system survey done. Almost at the end of our arm of the galaxy here. And I don't think we can reach here, can we? Nope, we need better tech to reach there. Cool beans, we'll get there. Someday. Keep on upgrading our planets. Need something to go here. We're definitely okay on food. So what do I want to build? Just research, probably? Let's do research. More research. What's this? Research agreement with the Zack Plot Confederacy. Alright, who the hell are you? Can't move this. Can't move the screen, I can't see anything. Oh, it's because we're... Oh, still can't move this. Oh, there we go. These guys. Research agreement, huh? You know, I would love to, but I'm kind of concerned that you won't be my ally. Eh, screw it, why not? Free research. Hey, torpedoes! Yes! Armored torpedoes. Auto cannons. Uh, let's get the silos. Not that I use them, but let's get them. Means we need to upgrade our fleets. Go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and build a spaceport. Some species thrive in harsh environments, such as chilly biosphere of ice 2. Science officer Darmel has taken a special interest in one of the types of creature that skitter across the planet's surface, and is one of the, and is of the belief that he may achieve sentience with just a push in the right direction. Where's that? Where is that? Oh, they're adorable. Rithelians. They are adorable. Well, we want them to get sentient, right? Sure we do. New nation? New nation, where? Oh, hey! What's up? Oh, he likes me. Oh, he's peaceful too. Yeah, we can be friends. I don't have any more embassies? I'm out of embassies. All right, Mr. Ally, we don't need to be embassies, right? We're good. We're good. We're, we're cool. He likes me. Hey. Friends? Friends. We make friends. We're good at making friends. We're not good at making allies, but we're good at making friends. I wonder what's going to happen when we... Oh, sure. I wonder what's going to happen when we get the these guys, these Iron Age dudes. Ozcox. Let's look at the Ozcox. Uh, these guys. Oh, Desert Preference. There you go. 
They have desert preference, folks. So we don't even have to con we don't have to change their preference. Perfect. Oh, time for another vote for a leader. Okay. But yeah, if we get these guys raised up to our oh, adds X planet modifier. Really? Where's this X planet? Go to button for the win. Oh shit! This used to be a planet. Damn. Five five minerals used to be a planet. So good. Can you make a federation now? No, you need four allies to make a federation. And you need the federation tech. We have one ally. Can't get any more. System survey complete. Hey, colony ship is here. We're totally colonizing. And I think I will make this into a sector. I'm going to make this, these two planets into a sector. Hey, Veltessa's back in control. Ah! Welcome back, Veltessa. Welcome back. <laughs> she just couldn't stay away. All right, Linzil, back to work. He's like, what? You want me to work again? Yeah, you're 88, but I want you to work. The destroyers are done. Uh, they're still building a few more. But they have finished upgrading, you're right. So let's group them up. And then we'll go take out those enemies up here at the Neutron Star. Oh no! Science Officer Darmal, he failed a 7%. Wow. He fails a lot, but at least he's not dead yet. Whew. Careful there, Darmal. Oh man, we're making like no influence. Inefficient planet management. What's causing that? Is that like a temporary modifier? I don't even see it in the list of modifiers. So what's causing inefficient planet management? That's hurting. Anyone have an idea what's causing this inefficient planet management? I'm curious. Search complete. Hey, minerals number two. Ah, uh, destroyer assembly yards. That leads to cruiser tech. But our dude is special at rocketry, so let's keep going with his favorite thing in the world. No governors? Oh, no governors. That could be. We have a governor there. Do we need a governor here? Does that do it? Oh, there we go. So putting a governor in the sector got rid of the penalty. Oh, is it from our leader? No, it's not from our leader. She has no penalties. Okay, colonist arrived. Let's get mining. Oh, we don't have the resources. Sure we do. Mine it. Mine it. Don't ask questions. Colonize. Excellent. You need governors and sectors? Okay, good to know. I didn't know that you need governors and sectors, but it makes sense. Our science ships are getting lazy. Whoa, 10 minerals out there. And this is the end. That's it. That's all she wrote. So we've reached the end of our arm. If we want to do anything else, we have to get better technology to go to other arms. Research complete. Continental Worlds. Yeah. 
Ho! Ravenous hordes of bioengineered horrors made up little more than teeth, claws, and an in instinctive urge to kill. A cadre of scientists monitor and supervise the raging swarms as best they can from hardened bunkers behind the front. Oh, baby! There's a rare tech for you. <laughs> we don't fight. We simply have these monsters that fight. <laughs> it's a rare research. I can't help myself. Are you saying that hippies wouldn't do that? Oh. All right. All right, I'm with you guys. I'm with you. Hippies wouldn't do this. Hippies wouldn't do this. No. You're right. We can't do this. We'll get some influence instead. Good call. Good call. Nope. Nope. We're not doing it. We're hippies. We're hippies. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're hippies. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. Nope. We got robots. That's enough. Oh, shoot, there's enemies out here. <laughs> Can't do it, we're hippies! <laughs> we're hippies, we can't do it. Uh-uh. No siree Bob. Nope. <laughs> Damn dirty sloth hippies, I know, right? Uh-oh, inefficient management again. Why? Why do we have inefficient management again? We had efficient management and now it's inefficient again. Why? I don't know. All right, now we have inefficient management because of a colony, but we're gonna make a sector here, so that's not a problem. New sector. Doink, doink, done. Does that work? Okay, now we're efficient. Good. Colony. Colony. All right, you do your own thing, Colony. As long as he has money, and I'll build a spaceport. Actually, he'll build his own damn spaceport. As long as he has money, he'll go ahead and build everything that he needs. Money and minerals and stuff. So we'll build all those things for him. He'll get that done. Uh, but let's make sure he has some starter cash. Yeah? Give him like 500 of each. There you go. We could get a leader. Who's available? Food, building cost, food. I guess food's fine. Go for it. How's our fleet coming? We're upgrading, right? Where's all those uptokes? There's the uptokes. And now that we control this area up here, we should be able to start interacting with these little guys over here. Let's get a construction ship up here. Uh, observation post. Lower taxes on the developing sector. Uh, all right, fair point. I'll put them at 25%. Let them grow a little faster. Survey complete. Not much there.
God, I really want to take these guys out. Yultar's Bulwark. Now we'll call it the uh, the northern uh, the northern escape. Why not? The northern fire. No, the northern drum circle. Let's go to the drum circle, man. North doesn't exist in space. Well, oh, oh, we found some more empires. Hello. North does exist in this space because in this space, if you drag the map one way and then let go, it yanks it back. So there's always a north and a south in this game. Drag it the other way, it yanks it back. So there's definitely a north-south. You know what's weird is I've started this game four times now, four different empires I've started. Every single one has been in the southeast quadrant for some reason. Let's um, let's pull our dude back from here. I mean, we've maxed our embassy. He doesn't care. So goodbye. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello. He's a despotic empire. Let's be friends. Hegemonic imperialists consider themselves the rightful rulers of the galaxy and will attempt to expand their empire by any means possible. Oh, so he's going to be aggressive. Ah, you stay over there, jerk face. How's the military going? 58% upgraded. Sweet. Great faster. There's enemies to kill. God, they're they're just they just can't stop up toking. They can't help it. They they can't control themselves. Meanwhile, let's build some more ships. You're at Mother Gaia. Whoa, what's this? Uh Toki's garden has pops with nothing to do. Well, do we have food? We do have food. Okay. Well, then you research. Research. Never stop researching. And you should probably specialize on something. Hmm. Either food or minerals. I guess minerals. Hey, research completes. Physics level two. Nice. What is next? Disruptors, blue lasers. Let's get blue lasers. We haven't upgraded our lasers at all. Colonize the yellow planets. Oh, we did unlock... We did unlock Continental, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we could go to Okal, and if we go to Okal, we can get these guys uplifted. I guess we could do that. Hmm, not sure if I want to colonize a planet that small. And there's a desert planet here. We don't want to colonize that one. We want to colonize this one, though. There's a desert planet here. And I think what the plan was, was to send some sloths over... And then we can modify the sloths on this planet to be good on deserts. So why don't we do that? Did we make another colony ship? We did not. Let's make another colony ship. What are your goals for this game? To be space sloths. That's my goal for every game, right? The best space sloth we can be. Hippies love the desert. Ships upgraded. Do they? Hey, the ships are done. All right. 
All right, let's go take out some aliens. Oh, you're going to merge it with the wrong name, aren't you? Ah, always with the wrong name. Peacekeeper, come on. Okay, peacekeepers, are you guys ready to go? Uh, we are building more ships. Let's let them group up just a few more ships, then we'll go. The enemy we're going to go face is pretty potent. And they're all right next to each other. So they're, we're going to have to fight them all at the same time. That's the tough part. It's not that they're individually strong. They're not. But we fight them all together. Okay, is the observation post done? It's done. So we get to choose how we observe the natives here. Does that mean we can uplift them now? We have to own the planet? Oh, it says we have to own the planet. Is this the right place? Yeah, it's these guys. Huh. Alright, I thought an observation post would be enough. Apparently not. Anyway, what the observation post does is it uh, provides three social research by doing passive observation. And if we change it over to aggressive, then they provide double that. And then you can change it to technological enlightenment to elevate them to the space age or covert infiltration. We would have to go to unrestricted native studies, though. It's not uplift. Modifying is not the same as uplifting. You can't uplift these guys. Oh, you can only uplift non-sentience? Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so we would have to do this. Technological enlightenment. And then they become our vassal. Okay. But it says we're not the owner of the fleets. Does that mean we have to remove them from the sector and then add it back to the sector? Why does it say we're not the owner of the fleets? That's weird. Oh, is it a bug? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we'll look at it again later. <laughs> at least we got to look at sectors today. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, we found some new aliens, too. Yubrak's Serene Union and Consolidated Yamor's Sons. Fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.